Omagyanati Mirandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chakshuru Militam Yenatasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Yenavutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Swapadantikam Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Saganaragunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Bitam Shcham He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagat Pate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavanishwari Vrishavanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Banchakalpataru Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyayvacha Patitanam Pabanevyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabihari Gopi Jana Balava Giri Varadhari Gopi Jana Balava Giri Varadhari Yashoda Nandana Brajajana Ranjana Yashoda Nandana Brajajana Ranjana Yamunatira Vanacharya Yamunatira Vanacharya Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya 
Gopi Jana Vallava Giri Varadhari Gopi Jana Vallava Giri Varadhari Jaya Gopi Jana Vallava Giri Varadhari Yashoda Nandana Brajajana Ranjana Yashoda Nandana Brajajana Ranjana Yamuna Tira Vanacharya Yamuna Tira Vanacharya Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Vihani Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Vihari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh. 
Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गोड़ा प्रेम नंदी हरि ब I hope everyone is feeling well, happy by chanting Hare Krishna. <laughs> It's a nice experience. Uh, all right. We are going to read from Bhagavad Gita, chapter two, text sixty-six. Mm. 
नास्ति बुद्धि न युक्त न चुक्त भावन न चावयता शांति अशांत कुत सुख वन हु इज नॉट कनेक्टेड विद द सुप्रीम इन कृष्ण कॉन्सियसनेस कैन हैव नीदर ट्रांसेंडेंटल इंटेलिजेंस नोर इज द दि माइंड without which there is no possibility of peace and how can there be any happiness without peace purport by his divine grace ac bhaktivedanta swami prabhu pad unless one is in krishna consciousness there is no possibility of peace so it is confirmed in the fifth chapter text 29 that when one understand that krishna is the only enjoyer of all the good results of sacrifice and penance that is the proprietor of all universal manifestations and that is the real friend of all living entities then only can one have real peace therefore if one is not in krishna consciousness there cannot be a final goal for the mind disturbance is due to want of an ultimate goal and when one is certain that krishna is the enjoyer proprietor and friend of everyone and everything then one can with a steady mind bring about peace therefore one who is engaged without a re- relationship with krishna is certainly always in distress and is without peace however much he may make a show of peace and spiritual advancement in life Krishna consciousness is a self-manifested peaceful condition which can be achieved only in relationship with Krishna. O magyana timirandasya gyananjana salakaya chakshuru milita mena tasma shri gurave namaha I was born in the darkest of ignorance and my spiritual master Shri Prabhupada opened my eyes with the torch light of knowledge. I offer my humble respect to Lord Vishnu Sanskar Santo Shri Prabhupada ki jai. So uh, Krishna is explaining the, how to achieve real peace. Nowadays there's a war between Russia and Ukraine and a lot of people very much distressed not only in Ukraine I mean all over the world nobody likes war and people dying and suffering you know there are devotees in ukraine there are like more than 50 temples there and every day i'm receiving news from them and i'm in touch with some of them and the the biggest temple they have as a big basement so they are taking shelter down there and they're having enough food thanks to the lord and they are receiving devotees who live outside married devotee they are sheltering them also there and not only that the devotees are going to where war areas and distributing prasad food well, offered to the lord to help people also in general so this is very important yes go ahead what i'm telling maharaj is that it's a very very delicate situation we have many 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 devotees in russia and temples and i just got a message from our communications director we have to be very very careful what we say so i'm just marsh didn't know that so i'm just adding that and and i've i'm supposed to say something officially after you're done with your talk you can do it right now if you want well i'm sorry to interrupt your lecture i just go ahead all right i'll be i'm sorry i really am sorry marsh i'll i'll be quick the as marsh was accurately saying We have about 3000 initiated devotees in the Ukraine. We have uh our largest temple in Europe, temple building is in Kyiv. Um the deities are over 6 feet tall, the Radha Krishna deities, marble deities, they can't be moved. So the city is is a very difficult situation we've had three devotees as of this morning had already been shot by snipers so it's a real tough spot um the many of the we have three farms in ukraine and we have a number of devotees who fled to those farms um the devotees this is the 
wonderful nature of a devotee, a uh, dedicated devotee. They can't move the large marble deities. They, they got them in there by building, putting the deities and building the roof on top with a crane. So you can't get the, devotee, the deities out. If you can't move the deities, then the brahmacharis, instead of going to the farms and taking the devotees, said, we can't leave the deities. We're not leaving. Then the householder community in Kiev said, well, if the brahmacharis aren't leaving, we're not going to abandon the brahmacharis. So they've all sheltered there in, uh, in Kiev with the deities. And when they're not, the two basement floors are, uh, they've turned into bomb shelters. And when the air raid sirens aren't going off, as soon as there's a break, they're going out and distributing Krishna Prashad to the neighbors. Now, there's devotees in Russia. There's many sides of the story. We're not making any political statement at all. We're just saying it is a very difficult spot for the devotees in Ukraine. Uh, as of this morning, there's about uh, 200, close to 200,000 people have fled into Poland. And we have temples in Poland. And so the devotees, with government permission, we've set up a whole prashadam pavilion. We've got about 100 devotees there now with a portable army kitchen cooking. Because the people are coming across the border with nothing to eat, no blank, blankets, nothing. So um, we're not, the devotees said, we're not asking for any money now. We don't know what the future is going to bring. Um, but all we ask is that uh, there prayer for protection of the devotees. So you can just picture the devotees there in Kiev protecting their deities and just may Lord Nishringadev protect the Vaishnavas. That's all they're asking for. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. I'm Hare sorry, Maharaj. Thank you very much, Maharaj, for saying, giving us this very important information about the situation of the devotees in Ukraine. Uh, we should always remember also that in Russia there are many devotees and temples also. So they are advising us not to put in the media anything against Russia or any political statement because that also may give them trouble in Russia this itself, you know. So please be very careful. Not, yeah, just pray to, to Krishna, to Lord Nishya there for their protection and that's that's the best thing we can do for now. No. So, but this reminds me where I was in South America, Venezuela, when the first war started between America and, and Iraq. And with the, uh, you remember that, I guess, some of you, and the, when America invaded Iraq at that time. So the media called us at the temple in Caracas, the, and ask us to for a meeting of all you know spiritual religion people you know yoga people and come together and pray for the peace you know. So we went there. Group of devotees were chanting and you know Hare Krishna and and the, the I was interviewed by the TV. So I said that's very nice that we are all coming together to, to pray for peace. Nobody wants suffering peace because war means suffering. People dying, people suffering. So nobody wants that. But at the same time, uh, if we don't uh, understand that, that why there is so much suffering and war in the world, because we are not letting the animal society to live in peace. We can't human beings expect peace if we don't allow the animals to live in peace. We are killing animals by the millions every day in uh, all over the world, in slaughterhouses. And do, do we think that's not, not going to be any reaction to that? It's going to be a reaction, of course. So, so in the fifth chapter, text 29, Krishna is saying, Bhoktara yagya tapasam sarva loka maheshvaram suridam sarva bhutanam yatomam shantim richati. If you want to have real peace in your life, uh, not only personally, but in society all over too, we have to acknowledge that God, Krishna, is the supreme enjoyer, 
supreme proprietor of all cosmic manifestation and the best friend of everything and everyone. Only then we can have real peace. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So this action-reaction, you know, is the law of karma. Uh, if you don't understand the law of karma, then people don't know what to do and not what to do. Mm -hmm. And that brings suffering. Suffering is mainly due to ignorance because we don't know what is the purpose of human life. Uh, we don't respect the life of other living beings then we get in trouble ourselves and to others too. So Krishna is telling Arjun here that he's using psychology. He's saying, yeah, you don't want to, f I mean, you want to have peace, isn't it? But how can you have peace if, uh, if your mind is not uh, connected with me? You... Unless you have connection with me through Krishna consciousness, you can't have transcendental intelligence nor a steady mind. And without which, there is no possibility of peace. And how can there be any happiness without peace? That's a fact. A person may have millions of dollars, a lot of comfort and uh, commodities and everything all fancy things he may want in life. But if he doesn't have a peace of mind, he's not happy. Mm -hmm. Because of greed. Mm -hmm. Gandhi said, there is enough in the world for everyone, but there is not enough for one very greedy person. Mm -hmm. He wants more and more and more. And that was brings these problems in the world because social unrest, you know, and people are disturbed in mind because they don't know there is a goal, spiritual goal in life that we should aspire for, you know, that if we acknowledge that God, Krishna, is the supreme proprietor of everything, we will respect whatever God has given to everyone. We will not want to take anything from anyone. Mm -hmm. oh, so that, that's the whole point. Uh, there cannot be peace unless you have peace yourself, starting with, our, with ourselves. And that peace of mind can be achieved by these three things. Acknowledgement that God, Krishna, is our best friend. When we accept him as our real and best friend, then we hear his advice. He's telling us, you can't be happy in this world because this world is a place of suffering. You have to always see behind, in front of you this misery, birth, eh, old age, disease, and death. Huh? Isn't So that's the reality. That's the truth. We need a little shaking to start understand and assimilate the fact that Without Krishna, we, can't be ha we cannot be happy in this world. Mm -hmm. With Krishna, hell can be heaven. And without Krishna, heaven can be hell. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. So, um, with money, you can buy many things. Nice car, nice home. Uh, good food, but you can't buy the power to digest it. Huh? Nor if you have a nice, comfortable bed, you, you, you can't buy the, you know, the ability to sleep. You may have a sleepless night, you know, because you are worried about something. Huh? So we have to understand this is a very important point, you know, that no matter how many material facilities we may have, that can ease our life a little bit, but that cannot give us real happiness. Real happiness is a different thing. No? Now, talking about intelligence,
Krishna is saying transcendental intelligence, not just any intelligence. And what transcendental intelligence means? First, let us explain what is material intelligence. <laughs> you know, some years ago in South America, the government uh, instituted uh, a ministry to help people become intelligent. <laughs> Didn't last it for long. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> After a few years, two, three years were dismissed, you know, they couldn't help anybody become intelligent. <laughs> so this reminds me of the story of uh, King Akbar and his minister Birbal. Once uh, Akbar asked Birbal, Birbal, uh, people are born intelligent or they can become intelligent? And Birbal said, in my opinion, if there is a real need, anybody can be intelligent. Well, that's interesting theory. You have to prove it to me. Birbal said, yes, of course. Uh, announce. Uh, let the soldiers go and announce with, with drums and, you know, symbols all over the city that all people from such to such age must come such and such day, such and such time to the palace. And they have to throw one liter of milk in the palace pool will be half empty. They have to fill it up with milk. It's a royal command. They have to obey the king. All right, see what will happen. <laughs> so the day came, and Birbal and, and Akbar, the king, they disguised themselves, so nobody, nobody would recognize them. And they were around the pool to see what was going to happen. And they start seeing thousands of people coming with a jar in their hand. The first man who came, they asked him, well, we are pilgrim, we are pilgrims, we are not from here. We are surprised to see with so many people with jar in their hand. Is this any particular ceremony you have? No, 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 we have a very extravagant king. And he ordered us to throw one liter of milk in the pool. And are you going to do that? No, because I'm not a fool. What are you going to do? I'm going to throw a liter of water. With so much milk, who will notice? <laughs> now, to their, to their surprise, everybody thought the same thing. Nobody throw milk. Everybody throw water in the pool. <laughs> so Birbal proved this point. If there is a real need, anybody can be intelligent. <laughs> of course, that's material intelligence. But we are talking about transcendental or spiritual intelligence that only can be given by God, by Krishna. Mm -hmm. That's the, it's already there in the soul. The soul is Satchitananda, eternal, blissful, and full of knowledge. But our knowledge uh, is now is covered, our intelligence now is covered by ignorance and passion. No? Lust and greed mm, and anger, this passion and ignorance. So to, to awaken our real spiritual intelligence, we need to clean uh, our heart from all dirty things. Mm? And for that, the process recommended in this age of quarrel, uh, uh, misunderstanding, confusion, uh, violence, uh, hypocrisy, so many bad things in this age, the best process to, to awaken our spiritual intelligence, to understand God, to understand who we are and the purpose of our life is by chanting the holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So we should always chant with faith that this process is effective. It, it, it will happen. Why? Because Krishna said it will happen. So that much faith we should have. Sometimes somebody uh, tells me, well, I've been chanting so long, but I don't know what's going on. I ask you how many, how many, how much you are chanting? Well, I'm chanting uh, eight rounds. Well, chant 16 then. <laughs> Well, I'm chanting 16, then chant 32. <laughs> if you to go to a doctor and he give you medicine 
and you go back after two weeks, not having effect on me. How many pills I told you to take? Two per day, they make it four now. <laughs> See what will happen. So that's the way of spiritual progress. We have to keep in our mind the proper understanding, uh, who we are, why we are suffering, what is the goal of life, the ultimate goal of life, not the immediate material goals that one may have in life, you know, either job, family, whatever. But the ultimate goal to achieve after quitting of this body. Krishna the Bhagavad Gita, 8th chapter, text 5, he said, Antakale chamam eva smaram muktva kale varam yaprayati samad bhavam yati nasti atra samshayaha. Whoever at the end of his life remembers me alone, undoubtedly he will come back to me. So the goal of human life is to go back to God, to his eternal kingdom, be eternally happy there. That's the goal for every human being. Mm -hmm. But due to ignorance, we are, we are covered by so many false ideas. Uh, the mind is the capital of all, you know, plans, how to enjoy this world, you know, how to achieve this and that. And, uh, so the mind uh, can be our friend and can be our enemy also. If the mind is too much attached to material enjoyment, material things, then it becomes our enemy because it is, it is drifting us from the real goal of life. So Parad Maharaj tell, told his father, Hiranya besides an uncontrolled mind and deviated mind, there is no other enemy in this world. Mm -hmm. Once a devotee asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, who's the worst enemy of the devotee? Prabhupada said, the devotee himself. <laughs> because he listened to his mind. <laughs> there was one Christian saint, Saint Teresa. She said, the mind is the mad woman of the house. The house is the body. And the mad woman of the house is the mind. If somebody is mad and is talking to you, you don't pay too much attention to what the person is saying, is it? Otherwise, you will become mad too. <laughs> so, so we don't pay attention to crazy people, what they're saying. Uh, there is a saying that there is no thing that a god can't eat. Or... or or a foolish man can say. Mm -hmm. So we have to hear from spiritual people who, who are actually in the path of spiritual progress. Uh, otherwise, we will be taken away by so many opinions about so many things. Uh. And Krishna told Arjuna, try to overcome whatever Flow, flowerly language are there in the Vedas about elevation to heavenly planets or money, fame, power, all these things are temporary. They cannot give us real happiness. Mm -hmm. Real happiness comes when we have real peace. And real peace comes when we are in harmony with, with God, with Krishna, by, by accepting him as a real friend, as a real proprietor and enjoyer. Huh? If everybody accepts that Krishna is the real proprietor of everything, there will be no more corruption in the world. Everybody will not steal anybody from anything from anybody. Huh? So that's the real peace formula. To recognize God as the supreme proprietor, enjoyer, and friend of everyone. Then we will not want to harm anyone. Hmm? So thank you very much for coming and taking part in the Krishna Consciousness philosophy and movement. We have a few minutes. If you want to have any uh, comment or question, please do. Yes, please.
can the devotees provide Bhagavad Gita in Russian to Putin? Of course, they did. They did? They did give him Bhagavad Gita, yes. And the same thing to the Ukraine. As the same thing, they, sh they should read it more. <laughs> that means, what does that mean? That means Gita doesn't work. Or no, no, that means they haven't read it yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, give him something so it can be read. We, we should. Give audio. I'm yeah. not political. Yeah. I am not political. I am just stating the statement. Yeah, I'm yeah, not a political. About Bhagavad Gita, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So Bhagavad Gita is the solution for everyone, you know. I mean, and devotee tried to give it to very important people everywhere. When the Pope went to Mexico, one devotee at the airport gifted him the Bhagavad Gita in Spanish. Well, he's, he's Spanish-speaking from Argentina, so. So he accepted, he appreciated the book, you know. And, and we have very good relationship with all different religions because we try to have harmony, you know, peace and, and understanding, you know, respecting everyone's belief. So at the same time, we want people to know about the message of Bhagavad Gita. You know? So the message of Bhagavad Gita is how to love God, how to have peace all over the world and in our own life, in our own mind, you know. And this can be achieved by this process, Bhakti Yoga. Mm -hmm. The union with the Supreme through Bhakti, through love and service. That's the process. Beautiful process. No? Anybody else have a comment or question? Yes. Um, there's the uh, verse in the Gita, uh, Brahma Bhuvana Loka, yes. Punarvati Narjuna. Mamu Petya to Kaunteya Punar Jamma Navidyate. It seems from that verse uh, that this, this problem is all over the universe, from the highest planet to the lowest, all are places of misery. That's completely true. But Krishna say, but whoever comes to me, they don't, they don't have to take birth again in this world. So that's Krishna's promise. And we should have full faith in Krishna's promise. Hmm? Yes. You know, you said, you know, if the chanting, you, I chanted, didn't do anything for me, so we'll chant more, you know. So... Obviously, I accept that reply, <laughs> but the, you know, every, all the faiths, they just say, just believe me, trust me, just do what I say, just, you know, but why should I believe you more than this person or that person? And no. No, they, all, they all make the same cheap promise. Krishna doesn't make cheap promises. Whatever he say, it will come true. He promised Kunti Devi uh, to bring her five sons, the Pandavas, uh, safe and, uh, and sound after the battlefield of Kurukshet. And he fulfilled this promise. And Kunti Devi uh, glorified Krishna, saying, My dear Lord, even the sun and moon can fall from their orbit, the star can fall, but your promise will never fail. You know? So we have, we have, Krishna is not an ordinary person, he's the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We are imperfect beings, but if we repeat what Krishna is saying, what we are saying is perfect, because we are repeating Krishna's words. So if he's saying, I promise you this, Jamma karma chame divyam evam yuviti tattvatahatyaktadeham punar jamma naiti mamiti sarjuna. Those who, under, who understand in true the transcendental divine nature of my birth and activities do not come again to this material world of suffering. Rather, they come back to my eternal kingdom. So that is Krishna's promise. Uh, and if we, if we are devotees of Krishna, or we want to be devotees of Krishna, this much faith we need to have, that his promise is real. Everybody is making promises, politicians, this, that. They're making promises, and most of the time they don't fulfill them. But Krishna always will feel his promise. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, 
the, the way they surrender to me, I will give them protection. No? And devotees know that at every step there is danger in this world. Padam padam ya padam nate sham. So we are not surprised there are problems in the world, war, death, suffering. We are not surprised. This is part of this life. And the only solution is spiritual, cons spiritual life, Krishna consciousness. Go to our eternal home. This is not our real home. You know? Sometimes people ask, why God allow these things to happen? God is allowing us to have our free will. And if we misuse it, that is not his fault. It is our fault. Isn't it? So we can't blame God for the suffering of, of anybody because we are creating our own happiness, our own distress by our own actions. Isn't You agree with that? <laughs> Very good. Yes, please. Hare Krishna. I just wanted to say that thank you for coming. I don't have to be home. It's okay. I have a lot there. <clears throat> what I learned since I've been here since 2005 is that one of the worst things to create in my life. Can you, they can hear. One of the, when, I, when I came in 2005, I learned the Guru Puja. That's the most powerful. What they tell me before Guru Puja, don't blaspheme the devotee. Keep your heart clean. Very good That's advice. It. That's it. Very good advice. I, I, did, I, didn't, I needed to learn that. Yes. Very and good. And then the chanting worked. Hare Krishna. The chanting is the, very helpful in... Definitely is very helpful. Yeah, the chanting cleans the heart. Cheto Dharpa Namarjanam, Lord Chaitanya said, this chanting cleans the heart. Thank you for chanting and coming and taking part in this wonderful movement. Yes, please. Uh, first of all, uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. And um, I would like to ask a question. I don't know if you... We did tonight or not? I just arrived. He, humbly, if is uh, possible, we send like a good vibration for these people that are fighting right now, like Russia and in Ukraine. Is there yeah. any any how we s all together yeah. here send a vibration? Of for course, them? we can say one maha mantra for their benefit. Please, all of you chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Definitely, definitely it's reaching there. Undoubtedly. You know? So here's a question that I've contemplated for quite a while. And yes. it has to do with the moment that we leave our body. That moment. Yes. We'll just call it a moment in my question. Yeah. So we know the ultimate best way is to chant Krishna's name, to remember Krishna. Correct, yes. So we have a form. We're all sitting here in, in human form. And the jiva has a form waiting for, for the jiva soul in Vaikuntha, the spiritual world, Goloka. Yes. Is there a form in between, an interim form? So we leave, do we take on another form before we arrive, or is, there auto, is it automatic? No, I'm, the thing is, as Prabhupada explained it, the spiritual body is already there, but it's covered by the material consciousness, by yes. the material body. When the bodies make a spiritual advancement, progress in life, the more advancement they make, that spiritual body start appearing ah. in our consciousness. We will start become aware who we are in Krishna's pastimes. Nice. 
Thank you. That will be revealed in the course of time when, when the Guru and Krishna will reveal that when we are ready for, of course. Of course, yes. You yes. have to be ready. Thank you. Good. There's no interim. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much for asking the question. And also, when devotees, uh, they get that revelation, when they die, they go not to Goloka or Vaikuntha. They go to Gokula, <laughs> where Krishna is performing his pastime in another universe, where, where is, there is Gokula Vrindavan there. And they have to take birth there from the womb of a gopi, and they become either Krishna's servant or friend or parents or, or, or lovers like the gopis, and they are trained there by the eternal companions of Krishna. And that when Krishna leaves that, that universe, he takes them all the way to Goloka from there. Then they are already introduced. It's, it's not that you arrive in Goloka and who's this? We don't know. Nobody knows who's that person, you know. So <laughs> you, we have to become first part of Krishna's family first. Huh? In this world, in the material world, when Krishna comes, of course. Uh -huh. That brings up a second question. Does, is yeah. this the case, for example, where the jivas all pass their body on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, for example? Yes. They were liberated. So Not then, all. I mean, the, the two types of liberation. Ah, okay. Those who are devotees, they go to Vaikuntha. And those who are not devotees, go to, they go to the Brahma Jyoti, Brahman impersonal liberation. Two types of liberation to two deep kind of people in Kurukshetra. But yes, you are correct. Everybody gets liberated. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Hare Krishna. Any, any last question? Very good. Yes, all right. Dandavats Maharaj, thank you so Hare much Krishna. for coming. Um, I'm not sure how much time we have, but I was hoping maybe you could give us a little mercy and share with us uh, a little maybe story of how you met your spiritual master, Bhaktivedanta Srila Prabhupada Maharaj. Thank you for asking. She's asking me how I met my spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada. I met him in South America. He also went there to Venezuela in 1975, February 75. Uh, and before I met him, I was searching for a guru, for a spiritual master. I used to lament why I wasn't born at the time of Jesus. I would be one of the followers to, to learn about God, you know, how to approach God, love God. And I must have some sincerity to desire that because shortly after that, one friend of mine gave me a book of Prabhupada. And as soon as I read it, I immediately became interested. I want to know more. You don't have more of, because it was a very small book. I asked him, do you have more of this? No, I don't. That's the only book I have. Where can I get more of this book? He said, well, uh, the Hare Krishna. Where I can find him? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know. And uh, I was living in another city, like 10 hours by car from the capital where the temple was. And I started practicing yoga, became vegetarian and everything. And uh, my friend invited me to visit the yoga center just opened in Bogota, in Colombia, a neighboring country. So we went there and, and then we went to the vegetarian restaurant and, and I told my friend, I just got an idea. He told me, yes, share it, please, you know. I told him, do you see this big building through the window? This is made by man. And do you see here on the table this beautiful fragrant roses? These are made by God. And if God can make such beautiful thing, imagine how beautiful God must be. But unfortunately, I don't know him yet. But I promise you, the day I will come to know God in truth, I will give him my life. I will surrender my life to him. And my friend said, that's very nice thought, but take it easy on me. <laughs> We were very close friends, you know, so he was worried to lose me, you know. <laughs> anyway, a few days after, we went to Caracas to visit some friend, and one devotee stopped us and offered us the books. 
Of course, I bought all the books and he invited us to the temple. He said, we have a, a loving Sunday feast. We read Bhagavad Gita, we chant mantras, we dance, we have uh, nice vegetarian food offered to, to God, to Krishna. Please come, it's for free. I say, yes, sounds very interesting. We want to know. So we went to the temple. And uh, as soon as we entered the temple, the devotee welcomed us, you know. And I told them, can I ask you a question? They say, yes. I said, I read in the Bible what the, we are made in the image of God. Can you please tell me how God looks like? I had this question since I was a teenager. I asked the Christian priest how God looks like. I said, that's a mystery. Nobody has seen God. I was disappointed. Then I read Jesus saying, there are more truth to be told, but you are not ready to understand. Said, okay, he's giving permission. Uh, if you don't find it, find it somewhere else. <laughs> and that's what I did. I searched and found Prabhupada. Uh, when I met Prabhupada the first time, it was like, you know, uh, he looked at me in the eyes while we are dancing, chanting in front of him. I felt the temple like floating in midair, you know. <laughs> uh, I can tell you more after you want because we are run out of time. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Hare Krishna.